we simulate and control humanoids that create physically compliant interactions with surroundings. Here, two characters run hand in hand. The character shown in black kinematically moves whereas the character shown in blue is physically simulated. Previous character control has been driven by position-based control which acts stiffly when external forces are applied. Our system uses mechanical compliance to move in various ways according to the forces. Here we visualize the character's compliance forming an ellipsoid. Each axis of the ellipsoid shows the mobility of the character. The compliance reflects geometric properties such as locking. The character acts stiffly when the forces are applied toward the arm. Our system can choose the levels of compliance. The character shown in right, deforms more for running. The difference is subtle, yet important in force control. Our framework is robust with respect to various level of compliance and the interaction forces. We also learn to hop to chicken fight. The red character is 38 kg where the blue character is 85 kg. Our compliant control can predict how mass distributions affect full body movements. According to Newton's third law of motion, they receive the same magnitude of force when bumping. Since mass distributions affects the forward dynamics and the compliance, the light character is pushed out farther away than the heavy character to compensate for the changes in momentum. Without our compliant control, they do not react to the forces until they fall. Balancing a ball requires active procedures that manipulate the ball as it wants. We perturb the ball by applying forces. The character learns to actively deform the pose and steps to move its position to mimic the inverted pendulum on a cart. This side-by-side -side comparison shows the effectiveness of the compliant control. Even though it successfully learns to balance the ball without our control method, resulting motion looks stiff and unnatural. Opening doors are one of the common physical interactions in daily life. Humans open a door by grabbing and pulling a knob. When the hand is close to the knob, the hand is temporarily glued to the door using a zero DOF joint constraint. The arm shown in red visualizes motion displacement for the compliant control. This decreases the forces acting perpendicular to the knob's normal direction. As a result the character can open the 1.7 meters door even though it only learns to open the 1.0 meters door. Trampoline is a device consisting of stretchable fabric attached to a steel frame. Humans leverage spring forces of the fabric to bounce on the trampoline. We demonstrate how the levels of compliance affect the motion. As the character becomes flexible, the character bend the knee and the hip joint to absorb the impact. Our framework is able to produce various motor skills on the trampoline ranging from balancing to backflip. 